I do um, a lot of outdoor activities, uh, triathlons, and when you do a triathlon, you see all these people who are running around, uh, and if I see someone with a funny looking mole, I'll walk up to them and I'll say, you should get that mole looked at, and they'll look at me funny, and I'll say, no, this is what I do for a living. You should get that mole looked at. And uh, I've probably, uh, hopefully, have encouraged people to um, run and get their skin checked uh, and have uh, you know, prevented a few serious melanomas in the process. Certainly everyone should keep an eye on their skin. Where squamous cell and basal cell cancers are concerned, they're usually red spots that are not that threatening appearing, but they just don't go away. So people go and see their doctors. Melanoma skin cancer is a uh, much more serious form of cancer, but most of it is diagnosed at an early stage and most of it is curable. Its severity is determined by how deep it goes into the skin, plain and simple. Usually melanomas are not subtle. It's usually an ugly looking mole. To recognize a mole that might be a melanoma, I always like to remember the ABCDs. A for asymmetry, B for border irregularity, color for different colors like black and blue, and D, diameter greater than six millimeter, which is about the size of a pencil eraser. What often happens is usually the men come in because their wives badger them, I don't like the looks of that mole on your back, you have to go see the doctor. Whereas women are a little bit more aware of um, their skin and they notice abnormalities. Also what happens very often is someone goes to see their doctor for another reason and the doctor may listen to their lungs and notice something on their back or they're just talking to them, they notice something on their face. And um, it is just so easy, any well-trained family physician can remove a mole and send it to a pathologist to find out what it is. So it's that simple. You don't like the way something looks, you go see your doctor, you say, I'm worried about this, and um, the doctor will look it over, and if there's cause for worry, he or she should remove it. Unlike basal cell and squamous cell cancer, where the problem is cumulative exposure to the sun, melanoma is more related to severe episodic exposure. I've learned that most of my patients with melanoma, but not all of them, they have a memory of a severe, severe sunburn. Whatever you can do not to get sunburn is what you need to do. Wear clothing, sit under an umbrella, use sunblock, and wear a hat. There's no better uh, sunblock than clothing, but really it's just a matter of being careful in the sun and reapplying the sunblock and uh, remembering to put it in pl places like on your ears and the top of your feet, which are places that everyone on occasion gets sunburned just because they don't think of it, and I see melanomas in those places. I tell people that there is nothing wrong with a healthy suntan. Uh, what is a problem is a severe sunburn, a severe blistering uh, sunburn, you know, peeling kind of sunburn. If I find people who tan and have melanoma, I kind of say, hey, that's a strong message to you. It's kind of like if you smoke and you get lung cancer, you probably ought to quit smoking. Um, ditto with uh, melanoma and tanning, or any skin cancer for that matter. We're in this together.